Good morning. Uh, there's my collection of hones I've used to sharpen up my razors with. I've purchased all these within the last five months or so. And I'm going to go through them all and kind of explain a little bit about them, what I've learned, and uh, maybe you can make a decision on purchasing a hone if you're new to this, or if you have experience with honing, you can maybe give me some pointers. So I'll go through each one of these individually. I also have them categorized here. We got the synthetic stones. These are Arkansas stones. I got my one J nat here, which is not a fancy J nat. It's an Amazon J nat, and the codicles over here. First off, here we have our synthetics. These are Nortons. These are the first stones I've purchased. Uh, this one here has a 220 grit on the bottom and a 1000 grit on top. This is a 4000, 8000, and a 12000 Naniwa. This, this is not Norton. This is a, another company, Japanese. Uh, so I began on these stones and I really didn't have that much success. There's a lot of people out there on the internet that swear by these stones. Uh, my problem was they kept giving me a toothy edge. You know, I just, I don't know. Uh, it didn't really matter if I started at the 1000 grit or started at the 4000 grit, whatever. Uh, this one here, not so much. I mean, this one's probably a pretty good stone. Um, it's these ones. So. That's what led me to purchase all these other stones to try things out because these ones just weren't working for me. Like I said, I guess, you know, a lot of people like them. They're fairly inexpensive, but uh, they just aren't for me. So there's that. So because I was having so much chipping on the Norton stones, I thought, well, and actually, most of the chipping I noticed was from the 4K, or at least the 4K wouldn't clean up the chipping from the 1K. Uh, so I, uh, I thought, well, maybe I'll go down to Home Depot. Actually, it was Lowe's, and I'll see if I could find a <clears throat> an Arkansas stone there. I did some research online and said they had them there. So I got this Smith's. Arkansas and I thought well, maybe this one will work for The 4k I'll replace the 4k with this. I tried it and my edge was Came out looking really cool uh, But still a little bit chippy. I didn't expect that much from it. This is a soft Arkansas stone It was probably about 20 bucks It was starting to polish up the edge a bit though and I thought well, you know, I mean it's still chippy So it, it's not a finishing stone obviously uh, I can use this one instead of the 4K and then go to the 8K and then the 12K. Well, it didn't quite work that way because the 8K wasn't, still wasn't removing the chips from what this left behind. But uh, I did like this stone and I thought, well, you know, um, the natural stone is solid. It's not going to shed sand grits and things like that like the synthetics do so it, it must be nicer on your edge you know, the, the grit from the artificial stones comes loose whereas natural stones they stay together and I thought but to me that made sense in my head that you know the natural would be the way to go so uh, since this one did show improvement in the edge I bought a few more Arkansas stones. I got a bigger soft stone. I got the hard Arkansas and this is uh, supposed to be a surgical black Arkansas. It's kind of... Uh, I did buy another Arkansas stone finer than this one so this one is not the highest grade you can get but it it was leaving a pretty darn good edge on my razors after 
some other stones. I'll get back to that. But these stones here uh, still were not getting the chips out. I don't know. I mean, I think these stones are good probably for kitchen knives and things like that. But when you're sharpening up a razor that's going to go to your face, you want that edge to be nice and silky, you know, not toothy or chippy. So I've kind of given up. I don't really use these stones and I don't use this one anymore either. I might use this one. But I have a better Arkansas stone here. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this one here, though, is still a good stone. And it was, I think I got, got it for like 60 bucks. It's the company's best sharpening stones, I think, best. It's not a Dan's. I keep hearing about Dan's. I don't own a Dan's. This is a Dan's here. Uh, but And this is fine, but uh, it's not my finisher. Um... I don't know, I hear Dan's is a lot better, but they're a lot more expensive, and really this one, you know, it has a little bit of pores in it. That's the main critique is that of these stones is that the some of them might have pores if you go to a, a lower grade company or something, you know, you gotta get Dan's. Dan's is the gold standard of these stones. But this one really, works pretty well even though it's you know it's it's not the highest 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 grade of black arkansas but i it gives you an edge so here's my finest arkansas stone here this is a surgical black arkansas stone uh it's amazing it puts an amazing edge on your razor it's 10 by 3. Now let me tell you, 10 by 3 speeds up the process dramatically. The surface area just makes it a lot faster. These are already very slow stones. They don't cut very fast. And uh, having a much bigger one makes a much, well, it doesn't test your patience as much as some of the other stones. Like this one here. This one, uh, it won't cut as fast, but, um, well, it, you know, this one will almost give you the same kind of edge as this one here, and this one's a lot cheaper. You know, this one is almost $200, or this one's $60. So, I really enjoy this one. It's a beautiful stone, and um, it's huge. It, it's a workhorse. Uh, and it's amazing and it gives you an amazing hyper sharp edge so there you go here's my Japanese whetstone got it from Amazon so it's a lot cheaper than a lot of other Japanese whetstones natural whetstones it's uh comes with a Tomo Nagura here uh, I reviewed this stone in another video and uh, I got great results from it it had a nice buttery feel to it uh, I think later on in that day I went, kind of felt my face and I felt like it might not have been as close as I would have liked but it was sure gentle on my skin I really liked it you can use it as a finishing stone uh, get a shaving edge off it I call it the butt ugly because it's just, it's not, I mean, if you've looked at a lot, if you've seen videos on Japanese whetstones, they're usually really beautiful. This one just kind of looks like, kind of like a brick of mud, sort of. It's all right. Uh, I still use this stone as a mid-grade. Camera's fallen. Sometimes I use it in the middle of a progression. Uh, middle toward the end there um, You know, I could just it slurries up pretty easy. You can use it <clears throat> it, it will cut I, I tried to do a, uh, a bevel set with it and it just I Almost did it but not quite so it it's not that aggressive uh, 
I have to say it's probably around a 7K, just under an 8K maybe. So it's a good stone and it's around $100. Now this here is a vintage Belgian codicil. Uh, when I first got it, it, I took some of my Arkansas stone edges to it and it just cleaned it up like right away. It was really amazing. I was like, wow, that has given me an amazing edge. Uh, some people on the internet have reported having kind of toothy edges with these, but this particular stone here does an amazing job of giving you a clean edge. And then it has the Belgian blue whetstone on the back, which is filthy here, and I'll explain why. Uh, this sucker came apart a few weeks ago. The top here just broke off, uh, except for this part here. So it cracked right here, and then this part broke off. So I epoxied it back together, and I still have to sh shave some of the epoxy residue off of this here. Uh, now, I made the mistake of putting epoxy in this crack here. I, I don't know if it's a mistake or not. It's still, you can run a blade over it without too much feeling of the crack. Or you don't even really, it doesn't make too much difference. I just have to, you know, run it here. Uh, but I felt like, you know, I needed a new one. It, this thing was giving uh, amazing edges. So I bought another one, <clears throat> and this stone here is my favorite stone. I call this the butter stone because it looks like a big brick of butter. I mean, it's amazing. And it gives you a, a buttery shave, and it just it feels like butter when you rub the stone, the, the blade against it. It's, uh, it's really creamy, and it... Uh, it's fairly fast. Uh, it's, you know, just an all-out great. This stone here is, if you can manage to get one of these stones, this is the only stone you'll ever need because you can set a bevel with it and you can finish a razor on it. You just, you take your slurry, here's a slurry stone here. You make your slurry thick with not too much water at first. And that'll set you a bevel and then you just slowly dilute it as you go along until you're just toning with water alone on it and the edge that this gives you it's not quite as hyper sharp as this one here and at first I, I didn't understand how it could be that you would prefer an edge like the codical edge over a sharper Arkansas edge well I could tell you this the edge from this stone it's it's different you can I can tear up my face with the razor and well, let, me, let me rephrase this I could shave much more aggressively with a razor from this stone and not worry about my face getting dried up or you know like the layer of the skin comes off and then you get like this dry skin after you shave if you've had a really aggressively done uh, close shave whereas if I use this stone if I go too aggressive with this stone I gotta watch out my face is gonna get tore up I go just as aggressively with this one and it's a lot kinder to my skin and it does a great job of taking off the hair. It takes off the hair just as good as this one or if not even better. So you know I really love this stone but ever since I bought this one I haven't touched this other stone over here. And, this stone was very expensive. It's just about 350 bucks. I got it from Keith Johnson's Etsy account. Uh, and his description of this stone is spot on accurate. At word to word, whatever he says about 
the stone in this description was exactly what it is. He said it was, you know, about medium hardness, and it uh, it's kind of a, a slow cutter. Except I I don't know. I I thought it was slow at first, but I've been getting some pretty fast edges on it, and it gives you a surprisingly close edge. I think he said in the description on his Etsy and. It's true. I mean, I get a surprisingly close shave with this, with razors honed on this stone here. So if you can afford it, this is the way to go. Get an eight by three if you can. Eight by three, telling you, the whole blade gets covered with this stone or one strike in it. You know, the bigger surface area just is going to give you. It's going to make your sharpening move faster so that's the last stone right there